Now to our new series, Tackling Pain. For millions trying to get, in, get, to get fit, running is their go-to, but it can also lead to soreness, strains, and more. ABC's Becky Worley is taking a look at what's causing the pain and how to stop it. Hey, Becky. Good morning, Michael. Why does it seem like some people run effortlessly? Is there some secret to running pain-free? I went to one of the top orthopedists in the country to find out. Running, it's great exercise, but... Ow! 65 million Americans run each year, but many have to stop because of pain. Like Stephanie Bohar, who's been sidelined for six months. So I've had a low back problem for a while. She's meeting with renowned orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Kevin Stone, who's treated thousands of professional athletes and aging jocks alike. Dr. Stone analyzes her walk, her running, even her shoes. We're gonna start looking for what's the mechanical cause of your back pain. There's nothing structurally wrong. So what's she doing to cause pain? First culprit, these molded inserts and fancy shoes that may not be right for her. As a good detective for figuring out what's causing it, this is the first thing. Right? Next, it turns out Stephanie runs all on pavement. Our insider says diversify surfaces. Mixed up with the beach and the grass and trail running. He even suggests some barefoot running to strengthen her feet. Start strengthening the small muscles of mm -hmm. the foot and improving the, the ability of the foot to absorb force when you land. While Stephanie's issues may be resolved with new techniques and gear, for many of us, the issue is structural. I've injured my knee in the past. What's the worst thing you can do to yourself if you have pain when you're running? Running through pain. That's it. Running through pain is causing damage. But there are techniques that Dr. Stone says can help. First, run uphill, then walk down. Running up optimizes the load on the leg muscles and provides a great workout without joint stress. Next, increase cadence. That doesn't mean run faster, rather take more short strides. Think Fred Flintstone or a log roller. When you land on your toe in a shorter stride, you have the time to absorb force through your arch and then push off. And finally, if you're already experiencing pain, Dr. Stone says get off the treadmill and try running outside. If you're happy when you're running, you're probably okay. Now, one more tip. If you're tight, locked up, your range of motion in the joint is limited and that puts more stress on it. This might seem like a Captain Obvious tip, but you gotta stretch. And here's the thing. When did you actually learn to stretch? Was it JV basketball or high school PE class? Dr. Stone says stretching has evolved and it's worth it to get a coach, be it a physical therapist or a massage therapist or even a one-on-one -on -one with a yoga teacher. So Michael, you gotta up your stretching game and you can run pain-free. So up your stretching game, no pain, no gain is not actually true. If you're in pain, <laughs> make sure you get yourself checked out. All right, thank you so much, Becky. Really appreciate that. Run like Fred, Fred Flintstone, that's right. You can also get all of Becky's, Becky's must no tips on how to run without pain at our website, goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.